Are you doing Amazon product research and don't know the next steps to take after you find a great product to sell? Well, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what to do in today's video. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group, and my goal is to make you a millionaire on Amazon. Let's dive in. Okay, so first I made some nifty slides for you that's going to explain the full method as well as the test buy method at the end of this video. So these are the steps to launch. It's an in-depth checklist, right? You need to do a product analysis, find a manufacturer, and test buy from a manufacturer. We're gonna be going through these three tips today, but you can feel free to take a screenshot because these are pretty much all of the steps that you do need to launch your own product on Amazon. I know because I've done it over a hundred times and have successful products myself, and we've done it over a thousand times for our clients. Now, step number one is obviously finding a good product, right? What do you love? What do you specialize in, right? We have a plumber and he made his own special plumbing tool. We have an HVAC worker and I said, hey, what are some tools HVAC workers use? And he told us a special tool I've never heard of went on Amazon, there was only two competitors, made the product, he made it better, he tested it, and we launched it on Amazon, and it's done extremely well. Do you love golf? We have eye doctors, clients, golfers, we've got everything in between. So do you specialize in anything is the first thing. It's much easier when you sell something you already know, right? But you don't have to go down that route. There's also hashtag TikTok made me buy it for ideas. Make sure you make a Google Sheet, so that way whenever you think of an idea, always just keep thinking about products. Whenever you think of an idea, write it down. We're gonna go to the next slide, which is product analysis, right? Is it making money, right? You wanna make sure that when you launch a product, it's in demand and it has the potential for making money. If the competitors aren't making any money, it may not be a good product. Just gonna be completely honest. You can also use AMZ uh, Scout extension in our description and they have like a tool so you can see how much money your competitors are making per month. How many competitors are there? If there's too many competitors, again, I would not recommend it. If possible, you want around 10 competitors or less. Again, that's just like amazing. There's may, There may be more than 10 competitors, which is fine, but just realize if you're in a niche and you launch a product and there's 10 competitors or less, and everybody's making money, that could be a potential great product. And here's an example is a product that I found. It's a vacuum. So what you do is see this black box right here. If you have hair, dog hair, or anything on the floor, you just sweep it near this and it sucks it up. So it's a pretty, again, there's only two competitors. There's like no competitors on this, right? So then you kind of go through there and you make sure you have your earning potential. Here's again, one of our clients examples of their products if you're a plumber. And you can see how many uh, competitors there are, competition low, and right now the monthly revenue is around $32,000 a month, and when the main competitor is Milwaukee. Uh, what's your earning potential? Is it a seasonal product? So is it, if you're selling a water gun, it's probably only gonna be generating sales in the summer and you need to factor that in that you're not gonna be generating sales all year round. There's nothing wrong with a seasonal product, but just make sure you understand, right? For a plumbing product, people always have plumbing issues. It just is what it is. So this one's gonna be a seller all year round. Same with the touchless vacuum I explained. Then you're gonna find a manufacturer. You can find a manufacturer on Alibaba, reach out to five to 10 people on Alibaba, bada bing, bada boom, grade the manufacturer by how respectful they are, how fast they reply, and how well their English is. Their English is not going to be perfect, but if their English sucks, you don't wanna work with them, okay? Trust me. Uh, if they reply by replying fast, I mean they reply at least once every 24 hours on business days, right? I'm not saying super quick replies, but once every 24 hours. If they take three days to reply, that's not a good manufacturer and how respectful they are. If they laugh at you or something, don't work with them. Remember, we're dealing with your money. And again, look, I have a G sheet. Now, finally, we're diving into the test buy. The test buy, so you buy a sample from the manufacturer and you pay via Alibaba. Pay everything via Alibaba. So if you find the manufacturer on Alibaba, pay via Alibaba, because if anything goes wrong, 
you can dispute it directly on Alibaba. And if you buy some, if you're a buyer on Alibaba, Alibaba like makes you win every single time. So if something does go wrong, make sure you buy directly through Alibaba. The manufacturer might say wire us the money or pay via PayPal. No, pay via Alibaba. And then you need to specify, they're gonna use the cheapest shipping method ever and it's gonna take 20 days to arrive. Say no, please ship via UPS or FedEx or DHL. Pick one of the three. This, these are all express shipping methods and they'll get to your house in five days. Once you get their products, so you're gonna get a sample from the manufacturer. You found your product, you get the sample from their manufacturer. You need to buy the number one competitor on Amazon and compare it. So compare the sample, compare the number one competitor on Amazon and then see what are the differences? What, what can you make your product better? Is the ma if the manufacturer's product sucks, like it's, if it's really bad, you wanna find another manufacturer. If it's decent and you think, okay, I can add to it, then it's okay. Because you, but you need to work with the manufacturer and like literally take pictures of everything. There was a break here, I need this. The competitor has this. I need, you really need to be very specific and make sure they can meet your, uh, your standards. So again, if we're test by, if we're test by, for example, can you back, once you test by it, you can start asking the manufacturer and look at the negative reviews of your top competitor as well, right? It says, had to reorder this one, arrived with a hair, hair in the filter, it appeared used. So this one, somebody sold it, they got a one star review because it appeared used. What we do for all a lot of our clients, if they want, is we tell the manufacturer that they have to vacuum seal the product. Before they vacuum seal it, they put special pieces of tape that says, uh, it that shows it's tamper evident tape that shows it's already been opened. So that way Amazon doesn't accidentally ship a used product to our buyer and we get a negative review. So we have tamper evident and it's vacuum sealed. So if it's ever opened, then Amazon knows right away and they don't ship it to the competitor. Uh, and then you can have video instructions and written instructions in the actual box, right? Does your competitor have written instructions and video instructions? If they don't, that's something you can do to stand out and make sure that you mitigate negative reviews as good as possible. Don't forget to review the positive reviews too. So you can see, make sure that you're hitting all the positive aspects and you're meeting the customer's demand. When you see this product, what else can you do? Can you add to it, right? Can you make yours shinier? Can you have a 360 suction? So yours maybe could have, be on a swizzle and, uh, and kind of suck in a 360 direction. That one would be a lot better than this product. So these are the things you need to ask your manufacturer after you do a test buy of each, right? Here's an example of uh, one of our clients. We did a test buy and we said, I was like, hey, look, I'll just do it for you, ship it to me. And I did pro, I measured everything. I did pro, so I needed to make sure our product was better than the competitors. Can, our, can we make our boxes smaller? Was there vacuum sealed? There wasn't vacuum sealed. There's a lot of different things that we were able to add and that kind of helps end this in the product research. Once you do the test buy and you confirm with the manufacturer everything, then you can go ahead and go and create that how to order guide. We go back to the beginning. You create the how to order doc and then you can place the order. So make sure you go through this list uh, make sure you check it twice. We've done this so many times where we know exactly what we're doing. And of course, if you did learn something from today's video, please do drop a like. And if you're an Amazon seller, drop a subscribe because we're releasing a lot of content that nobody else is. So stay up to date with our content so you can improve and sell on Amazon successfully. Also, if you need any help with product research, getting a trademark, anything in between, we specialize it as EHP Consulting Group. We have over 50 employees, and one of our best services is Amazon Full Account Management, where we'll fully manage your account for you, help you find a product, help you with product launch, make sure that the product launch goes successful those first three months, so that way the rest of the product livelihood is profitable. That's the most important, and each consultant that you work with on our monthly management is a one-on-one -on -one relationship that I've trained personally. So you're not gonna be working with tons of people, you're gonna be working with one person that's gonna help you in your Amazon journey. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group, signing out.